name, the beneficent, the merciful, the one who has given us this life, the fashioner, the one who puts everything together with incredible perfection and has given us the opportunity to exist due to his infinite mercy because we don't deserve to exist. But now that we do exist, we deserve to serve him and we deserve to serve him not because he is in need of serving but we deserve to serve him because we are in need of continuity of existence and to reap from his infinite treasuries because we love good things and we despise bad things. We love to live eternally because life is superior to non-existence and the Almighty in his infinite mercy has created us as intelligent beings all creations of Allah, including the atomic particles, are intelligent. They have cognition. They have recognition. Allah says, يُسَبِّحُ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ Everything that's the tasbih of Allah in the heavens and the earth. Whatever is in the heavens and the earth, that's tasbih. And tasbih is not possible unless there's cognition, unless there's intelligence. And we are among those creations that is the most intelligent, not necessarily the intelligent, but one of the most intelligent ones. And it's irrelevant what exists out there. What is relevant is that we exist. And what is around us is sufficient for us to reap the continuity of reaping from the infinite treasuries of God. And that this intelligence that we have been endowed with is the ability by which we are able to recognize the infinite mercy of God. It is through intelligence that we know, but intelligence has the capacity to be taken in the wrong direction as well as in the right direction. And that dichotomy of life is what gives presence to the ability for an individual to live in a relative world, a framed world, a world where there are opposites thesis and antithesis, a world which enables us to be tested because if it's a one-way street and there is no dichotomy, if there is no alternative, then there is no precedence. You and I cannot differentiate it, uh, each other because we become one block. But what is beautiful about Allah's creation is that every one of us is uniquely individual. We are so individual that it's to the nth level of individuality, and yet we have a commitment in our existence to merge with the universe as one communal society. Once again, you notice the dichotomy where I am an individual, but I also have to merge with my society. 